Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, people out there in the uh, YouTube world? Uh, I'm about to uh, record a video to uh, <clears throat> review for the new Jusla album, MMA. Uh, if you haven't heard about it by now, then I don't know what to tell you. You know, it's probably gotten more publicity now than if it would have gotten if it had came out uh, when it was originally it was announced. Uh, I think about what four years ago or or so. Uh, <clears throat> I think might be longer. I don't know. Some people say it was like ten years ago. That doesn't really make sense because ten years ago was when the first album came out. All fates have changed, so I'm not sure what they're really talking about. But uh, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, <clears throat> but yeah. Basically, the uh, the album's been getting a lot of uh, press. I guess if you want to call it uh, <clears throat> a lot of. A lot of love and a lot of hate. Uh, so basically, I'll just get into my opinion of the album. I'll try to make this short because I have a lot of opinions. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a big supporter. So personally, I'm real happy that the album finally came out. Uh, in my opinion, it was worth the wait. Uh, it might not have been what a lot of people expected. Uh, my personal opinion on that is people probably expected maybe... Uh, all Fates Have Changed Part 2, or the whole album to sound like uh, like 180, and this, the type of sound that he came out with when he was on the last J, uh, Jedi Mind Tricks album, Violence Beget Violence, which was more up-tempo, more aggressive, that type of thing. So some people might have been expecting that. Others might have been expecting, you know, his style from uh, from 10 years ago or so. You know, with a lot of the uh, religious references in it and stuff like that, and political stuff that he was doing at the time. So I'll just get into it. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, so basically, personally, I like the album. Uh, overall, I give it out of say four stars. Pretty much perfect. Uh, I'll just get probably my only criticism, and if you can even call it that is that the tracks are pretty short uh, <clears throat> so uh you know that's that's probably the the only real minus i can actually say is that you know once you get into it it's pretty much over it's you know it's it is what it is that's the length that he wanted it came out the way he wanted it he didn't go with any guest stars which i think throws a lot of other people off because the majority of the albums that come out on the indie rap scene from all your favorite rappers i won't say who uh, there's some repeat offenders you know they come out with an album and maybe two of the tracks are actually them by themselves and like all the other eight or nine, ten, twelve eighteen tracks are like you know with a million guest stars on them and I think people are used to that and that's what they think a good album's supposed to be you know you kind of get all the usual suspects you know get them on your album and that's pretty much it but he decided to go with his vision and he had zero guest stars and all the tracks are only him and he went with uh, relatively unknown producers on this one that the majority of people probably never heard of until they listen to MMA uh, shout out to uh, to live uh, I what was the uh, one of the other producers uh, Paul danger I think was another one live did a lot of the tracks uh, uh, the another producer, Anthro, Anthropophagus. I, I think I fucked up his name, uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much the same. I think like three or four producers. Uh, he used the beat from Psycho S of the Beat Nuts, a legend in hip hop, uh, to remix the the track 180, which originally was done by Sea Lance, and I think a lot of people are confused by that one. But if you have a hat for brain. You should, it should be fucking obvious why he chose not to use the original track. I mean, he's not affiliated with those guys anymore, so why would you use the original track produced by their pretty much in-house producer next to Stoop? Well, actually, no, I'd probably say he's their in-house producer because you probably won't hear from Stoop for another, like, you know, two or three years until there's another album. It's pretty much a recluse. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, so I'll just try to go through real quick, you know, uh, <clears throat> the album starts off with a track called Cans, 
and when I first saw the track listing, I was kind of wondering why it was called that. But if you hear the album, the majority, I think, pretty much almost all the songs, uh, the track names are uh, due to the lyrics that are actually in the song. I think there's a few that aren't, but there's some that where uh, it comes from actual lyrics in the song. But Kansas is pretty short. It's kind of real dark. Uh, <clears throat> starts it off and sets the tone in the album. So, uh, all right, so then from there, I think it, it goes to another track, Thoughts, which is a newer version of a video that was put out uh, called Thought Crime, which actually had it was, I think, I would say the second video, because I think that came up, that was actually released after 180 for the, uh, for the viewing public, at least. Uh, yeah, so it had, he actually added in some new, uh, I think there's like one new verse and then I think the last verse on there is uh, has some some lyrics changed around from the original version so continuing on with the dark uh, hardcore kind of you know uh, occult themes uh, pretty much what if you're if you're an actual supporter of Justin Law that's pretty much what you should expect like he's, he's not gonna come out with like some uh <laughs> He's not, he's, I don't think he's going to come out with a track talking about his childhood. And if it is, it's probably going to be uh, filled with so many metaphors and allegory that uh, you won't really know he's talking about himself in the track. I mean, he's, you know, he does his own thing. That's pretty much for me as a fan. That's a big reason why I still support him. You know, he does what he feels. <clears throat> Whether the people agree with it or understand his reasoning or any of that, he I don't think he re he truly really doesn't give a fuck pretty much, um, you know. So uh, let's see on with the other tracks. Uh, so there's 180. Uh, I think the next track after that's I want to say it's either Danger or Therapy, but <clears throat> these tracks are both good tracks. You know, continuing on the uh, the theme of the esoteric occult, uh, just kind of like the type of music you listen to when like. You know, you're working out or, you know, you came home, you're pissed off at work or some shit or, or whatever, man. This isn't like happy music. You know, you're not going to put this on at your family barbecue, pretty much. Uh, you know, I try to get over, get through with this review. Uh, let's see, after that, it's therapy, there's danger. Uh, <clears throat> there's another track. One of the standouts, in my opinion, is Converted. Uh, it comes in with the uh, intricate word pay, wordplay. Uh you know, I, I think he, you know, and one thing I like to point out, uh, me personally, I like that he came with a calmer delivery on this album because uh, the last few things you probably heard from him, or at least from the, you know, the last album he was a part of, it was more of the aggressive, uh, you know, kind of in your face delivery that, you know, you either liked it or you didn't. Personally, I like, you know, most of the stuff, I like pretty, pretty much all the deliveries he's used. You know, he's one of the few artists that, you know, changes it up every now and then. He, he isn't just going to, you know, stick with what worked 10 years ago or five years ago. He's going to, you know, whatever he was feeling at the time or whatever the beat was or, you know, whatever his inspiration is. Uh, <clears throat> going from uh, the track called Converted, then there, there's other, uh, another few tracks. Uh, uh, Days Like This, it's another one of my favorites. Uh, talks about a blind psychic. Uh I think that's the other one with like the, the magic references, all type of stuff. I don't since I'm uh, I have the the video on, so I can't remember the lyrics offhand at this point. I don't want to fuck them up, so I'm not gonna quote them. You already listened to me long enough. Uh, but yeah, so it goes through pretty much all the tracks. You know, people want to criticize the the production on it. That's a lot of the criticism that I read from people who took the time to listen to the album. And personally, I think that's. If he had went in a different direction, I would have been a little disappointed. I was actually personally pretty impressed with that. You know, it's there's not a lot of artists these days that go in that direction on their music. It reminds me of like of uh, other albums where there's a it's a concept album. I could be wrong, but personally, I think MMA is supposed to be a concept album. You know, he's playing a persona, and if you don't get it, you don't get it. It's tough luck. 
there's a lot of other records you can go listen to that are more straightforward. You know, you want to talk about, you want to hear a record with somebody rapping about how, you know, they're sad their dog died or something like that. You know, there's plenty of those. Uh, you want to hear somebody rapping about how they get drunk every night or, uh, you know, a whole bunch of gun references or it's kind of like the same verse recycled like a million times. You know, there's people out there like that and they have their fans and I like some of the people's music they put out and some of it I don't. But personally, I like this album. I, you know, if you listen to this, I feel it's worth a listen to. Definitely go purchase it. You know, shout out to Just. You know, I, I'm looking forward to seeing him live. He's coming out in, uh, to my city fairly soon, actually. I think, like, next month or so. So, you know what? So, uh, that's pretty much it. Review, er, the review went longer than I expected, but I tried to cut it down. Uh, thanks for listening. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments, a lot of criticism, because a lot of y'all out there sit around and wait for stuff to criticize, you know. I can't really help you, man. I, you know, if you don't have nothing else better to do, that's just, that's on you. All right, man. Well, peace. Shout out to Just Law. All right. I'm out of here.